guys! So this video is going to be about art competitions and why you should join one. Now you might be thinking, hey Simone, why should I care? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> So today I'm going to be talking about why you should at least once join an art contest or competition and also the mindset that you should have when you join one. And speaking of competitions, while we talk about this subject, I'm actually gonna start my own entry for the Ancient Civilizations contest that is currently running on ArtStation. If you also want to give this contest a go, I'll link to it down in the description. So what kind of competitions am I talking about? The just mentioned Art Station Ancient Civilizations competition is a good example. It is open until March 13, so if you want to join, just follow the link in the description, but be warned, you have to register until the 6th March. So usually with these competitions you get a briefing, you get a time frame in which to complete the task and you get a prize. Sometimes the competitions are limited to, for example, only US citizens or there's a regional lock. Um, you can still join and enter and still have some of the benefits that I'm going to mention, but for example, for some competitions you're just, you, you're not even allowed to win, even if your entry is the best one. I'm just saying that beforehand. <laughs> Anyway, competitions are a great way for you to practice your craft. And this is kind of the main point of this video. See these competitions as practice. The prize can be a motivator, but if you're starting out and you're going up against professionals or people that can pour way more time and resources into their entry, chances are slim that you will win. However, see this as a chance to give your very best. For example, um, for me, my skills have improved with every contest piece that I ever did. Because I was pushing myself to try and keep up with these professionals and these other great artists. Furthermore, a deadline will help you complete your artwork. If you have trouble finishing things, either you stop working on paintings completely, um, or you render them to death and just can't stop working on something. Uh, yeah, join a competition. The deadline uh, will just end things for you. Like, there's no going back in there and polishing things up. So yeah, um, another benefit of competitions is the exposure that you get. And if you still associate the word exposure with something negative, um, I put a link down in the description to a video of Jake Parker. And he did an awesome video about this topic. He basically talks about the different kinds of exposure and which ones are helpful and which ones are harmful to artists. Um, and to sum it up briefly, if your work gets seen by a lot of people and it clearly links to you, to your name, your name's on there, see it has free advertisement for yourself. Back to competitions. So by joining and completing the challenge, you demonstrate not only your skills, but you will be seen as someone who can complete an artwork with guidelines and a briefing and everything that comes with it. And you can do it in a set time frame. Or so getting seen in the participants or submission tabs of the um, contest can get you new followers, but maybe also potential new clients or just some, I don't know, some studio can see your work and be like, yes, this is what we need. Maybe you don't win the competition, but you still get a lot of free advertisement for yourself and a lot of people will see your work. And by work, I do not only mean the completed artwork, but also your process behind the artwork and also your ability to complete stuff and to follow a briefing. And the last and probably most useful thing about competitions, especially if you are just starting out, is that you are joining a community of artists with the same interests. What do I mean by that? <laughs> 
So maybe you know the feeling that you have this awesome piece of art and you post it online and you desperately need feedback on it, but you can't get through the noise of sexy girls on the front page of whatever art site you're on. Or you just drown in the million of Facebook posts posted in your art feedback group. And people that could give you feedback, they don't even find you. So most of the time with competitions there's categories like character art, environment art, storyboarding and so on. And most of the time the people that are joining in the same category are interested in the same topic as you. So they are more likely to find your work and give you feedback. And as a bonus, if you want to give feedback, you don't have to guess what the artist was going for, because you can just read it in the briefing. <laughs> and maybe this is just a personal problem that I have, but I see it in most Facebook groups that people just post some kind of artwork and they write CC, uh, C and C, so comment and critique. I'm guessing that that stands for. They're too lazy to even write out the full words. Um, so they are just posting this C and C over their their artwork and you don't know what kind of criticism, what kind of context. You, you don't know anything about this artwork. Where they're going for correct anatomy? Do they want feedback on the colors? Do they want feedback on the overall piece? Is this for a movie? Is this for a game? Is it a concept art? Is it an illustration? You know nothing! Sorry, I'm just getting a little heated because this annoys me so freaking much! If you want feedback, at least take the freaking time to Anyway... <laughs> so yeah, with a competition, you have the briefing and you automatically know what the person is going for. So you can really help people if you want to critique their work. So yeah, I hope this has motivated some of you to join a competition. Whether your motivation is to get better, or the exposure, or just the fact that you'll join an art community that actually cares, or even the prize. Like, that can be a motivator. It's just highly unlikely and I don't want to discourage you, but hey, you can even just, if there's like prize money in there, just, just go for it. And most of all, just have fun. Even though it's a competition, you're still producing artwork. And most competitions don't have so many guidelines that you can't just draw your own thing and express yourself. So yeah, just go have fun. So yeah, if you have not already joined the ArtStation competition that is currently running, um, there's a link down in the video description. You have to register for this competition until the 6th of March and the competition is going for 8 more days until March 13th. I will also link to another competition um, which is called the Game Challenge. I think it also has three or more categories. Yeah, and the theme is more sci-fi-ish if you're not really into that ancient civilizations vibe that the um, art station competition has. So yeah, and that one goes until the 19th of April. So if you want a bit more time, uh, join the game challenge. And yeah, if you find any more challenges online, post them in the comments. I will put them in the video description. So maybe you can create a little collection of just challenges and contests to complete. Um, and yeah, let me also know your your view on competitions. Have you ever won one or do you just not join them because of reasons? Um, or do you join every competition you see? Or yeah, just, just let me know and um, I'm interested because I'm the kind of person that joins every competition, but I always join last minute. And then when I don't finish my artwork or it's just bad compared to the others, I always say, oh yeah, yeah, it's because I didn't have as much time as the other people. Um, but I think everyone works with the same time constraints. So that's just a lazy excuse. 
Um, but yeah, just just let me know your thoughts and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.